Good day to you. Today we want to have a look at how we can find the value of certain angles in the given trigonometric ratio without using tables or calculator. And the secret behind finding that is the understanding of four quadrants. Any angle between 0 and 90, sine, cosine, and tangent of that angle will give you a positive value. I have explained all this in one of my previous episodes. Please, to get the detail, go back to one of them, I mean, to the particular episode. Now, any angle greater than 90 but less than 180, only sine will give you a positive value. Sine and uh, cosine and tangent will give you a negative value. The same thing applies to tangent here, which is the only positive value you can get. Anything greater than 180 but less than 270. Sine and cosine will give you a negative value. Why only cosine will give you a positive value for any angle between 270 and 360? Any other one such as sine and the tangent will give you a negative value. That is the first point you must hold on to. Another one. Any angle you are given, either negative or positive, once it is less than 180, that means you turn it into acute angle by subtracting it from 180 because it's not up to 180. Why any angle given, either negative or positive, as long as it's greater than 180 but less than 270, you will take away 180 from it so that the remaining angle will be accurate and that is what will determine the value. The same thing applies here. Any angle greater than 270 but less than 360, you will take away that angle from 360 because it's not up to 360. So whatever you have left is what will determine the value of that angle. Do not forget, in addition to the previous information about whether it's going to be positive or negative. So come along with me. Now, to find sine of 120 degree, what do I do? Very simple. I'll just go and look for where 120 will fall on the four quadrant. Of course, it will fall there. And sine is what? Positive there. That means it will be positive sine. Then you turn 120 into acute angle by subtracting 120 from 180. Like I told you, that will be 180 minus 120. And that will give me pos positive sign of what? 60 degree. According to the table of values I gave in one of the previous episodes I did, sine 60 degree is root 3 over 2. So which is positive. Now, for question B, which is sign of negative 120 degree. All right, all I need to do is, since it is negative, that means I will come to the zero line and I will go clockwise instead of anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise is for positive direction, that is for positive angle, while clockwise is for negative angle, is mentioned in one of the previous videos. Now, that means if I want to start from zero and I'm going to negative 120, definitely from here to here will be negative 90. I mean negative 120. Negative 120 will fall here because from here coming this way, it will fall here. And once it falls here, it's telling you that the answer you are going to get must be negative. Why? Because only tangent is positive here. And since it falls within this quadrant, it has to be negative because it's what? Sign. So the next thing is to turn this 120 into acute angle. By what? You know, 
that 120 is less than what? 180. So that will give you 180 degree minus what? 120 degree. That will be minus, sorry, minus sign, minus sign what? 60 degree. And that will give you negative root 3 over 2 because sine 60 is root 3 over 2. To find the cost of 210 degrees, 210 is positive. That means I will go anti-clockwisely. So 210 will fall here because 210 is more than 180. And only tangent is what? Positive. That means the value will be negative. So that will be negative. Then cosine of, since 210 is more than what? 180. It will be 210 minus 180. And that will give me negative cosine of what? 30 degree, which is negative cosine 30 is what? Root 3 over what? Over 2. Now, let me now deal with the negative angle of it, which is a cosine of negative 210 degree. Okay, since it is negative, that means I will come to the zero line, I will go anti-clockwisely. So, I'm mean, sorry, I will go clockwisely. So see, this way. So if I go here, 210, negative 210 will fall here. Because from here to here is 90, 90, 90, 90. So 90, 90, that's 180. That means negative 210, when you go clockwisely, it will fall here. And only sign is what? positive there. That means the answer will be what? Negative. That will be negative cosine of, since 210 now is more than what? 180. That means on the four quadrant, it will be 210 minus 180. And that will give me minus cosine of what? 30 degree, which is negative root 3 over what? 2. Okay, now it is time I move on to tangent of 300 and negative 300. Okay, tangent of 300 degree. All I need to do, since it is positive angle, I will go anti-clockwise from zero. So 300 will fall here. And where is false, only what? Cosine is what? Positive there. That means the value I'm going to get for 300 must be what? Negative. That means I will put minus time. Then this will be what? 60 degree now. Do you know why? Because 300 is not up to what? 360. You subtract 300 from 360. And what would that give you? That would be negative. Tan of 60 is what? Root 3. That's it. Now, let's now deal with the negative 300. Like I told you, just come to the zero line, you can go clockwisely because it's negative. So 300, if you go this way, it will fall here. See, 90, 90, 90, that's 270, then when you come here, that's 300. So 300 falls here, between 0 and 90. That means everything here is positive, sine, cosine, and tangent. Therefore, tangent of negative 300 must give you a positive value. So what do you do? That would just be positive, tan, you now subtract 300 from what? 360, because 300 is not up to what? 360. So that will give you what? 60 degrees. And that will give you positive root 3 is the answer. 